this particular dish will work great no matter what the season because you can use either fresh, frozen, or canned product in it and it will come out terrific either way. Today, since we're in the winter months and you've got all those things that you canned or froze last year, I, I'm going to use some of the preserved ones uh, and I'm going to start with both canned products. I'm going to use canned corn and uh, canned potatoes. This is a potato corn skillet. I'm going to start, I've got the skillet preheated because you're going to have much more luck the, uh, adding other ingredients without them sticking if you've got uh, the skillet preheated. And to that I'm going to add, uh, as soon as it gets just a little bit hot, uh, three-fourths of a cup of diced onion and three-fourths of a cup of diced bell pepper. Now you can use red pepper, you can use uh, green pepper as I am here, any color will work. In fact, you could use any kind, whether you wanted to stick with uh, the bell peppers or branch out into something a little more fiery. Any of those is going to work just fine as you do this. Stir these together. Uh, I'm going to turn down the heat just a little bit. We want these to cook somewhere between eh, seven to eight minutes. We want the onion to just begin to turn a little bit brown around the edges. We don't want it to burn, so keep an eye on it because once that browning starts, it's going to move from there to burn fairly quickly. But plan on around seven, eight minutes on about a medium heat. You can see that we've got a little bit of brownness, so this is perfect to go in. Uh, what I have here are canned diced potatoes. So if you have leftover potatoes, you could use those. Uh, from uh, another meal, that would be fine. Uh, you could also use uh, frozen hash brown potatoes, those would also work. I'm also adding here uh, two cups of canned corn. Again, it could be fresh off the cob, it could be uh, frozen corn. If you're using fresh or frozen, it may take a little bit longer to cook. What we're going to do here is simply stir these together and then let them cook until it's heated through. So if you're using canned and they're, they're at room temperature, three to five minutes should do it. If you're using frozen, you're gonna have to, to test it, make sure that it's heated through because it is going to take a little bit longer. They take two times as long or maybe even three times as long. The, the other thing that you wanna think about as you're choosing, first of all, you're gonna use what you have, which is very important. There's no point in canning vegetables and not using them. Uh, but think about as you're canning or if you need to purchase uh, the vegetables to do this, is there salt added to them? If there's a salt used in canning, maybe if you can them yourself, you've added up to a half a teaspoon per pint, uh, then you probably don't want to add salt later. Drain the, the liquid away, as you could see I had done that on both of these, uh, so drain the liquid away and if you're using salted varieties of either home canned or commercially canned, don't add the salt at, at the end when you have the option. You're going to taste it to correct for flavor, most likely won't need it. If, on the other hand, you've got a no salt added variety, you need to maybe add a little bit of salt. We're going to add some hot sauce to it. If you add hot sauce, which is another optional ingredient, then you may not need as much salt. Uh, so again, it's, it's taste and decide. And if you have somebody in your family who can't uh, consume much salt, then err on, the, on that side. Uh, but again, use your judgment as to what tastes good to you so that people will eat it because there is importance in getting it down, but also how that uh, is going to affect uh, the diet plans of, of those who, who do need some restriction. Uh, as I said, this needs to cook, stir it once in a while for oh, three to five minutes, uh, and then we're going to put the lid on it and let it cook uh, off the heat. I guess it's not cooking off the heat, but we're going to take it off the heat and let it set for another five minutes or so. The other thing you want to do with your potatoes if you're using canned ones is because there's going to be starch that comes out of the potatoes during uh, the canning process, because that's cooking uh, them as they're uh, in the jar, is there's going to be a lot of uh, starch around them. So put them in a colander, rinse them off, and drain them as well as you can before you add them here. And that will just make this a little bit more clear. You're going to want to cook this till it, the time is up, it's heated through, but also if you have a lot, little bit more liquid either because it came out uh, and it didn't quite get drained away when you rinsed it or you didn't get drained away when you uh, took it out of the can uh, or as it thawed, uh, cook it enough to get uh, the bulk of that liquid off. It's okay if there's a little bit left, but you want most of it off. So again, three to five minutes, put a lid on it, let it sit about five minutes longer just to, to blend the flavors together and then we'll come back and take the final steps. You can see it's not really looking much different, partly because all of our vegetables were well cooked ahead of time. Next thing I'm going to add is just a little bit of pepper. Now remember if you haven't used 
vegetables that are salted. You'll need to taste it to make sure that uh, it, it's where you want it to be. And that's always a good plan anyway. Always tasting your food to make sure that the seasonings are where you want them to be. Particularly right before you're ready to serve it if there's something you can change. Next thing I'm going to do is put a little hot sauce around it. Adds a little bit of color. I'm going to do this twice actually. I'm going to do it now and stir it in a little bit. And again, this is an optional thing. It does really pop the flavor, however, so it's, it's really, really nice. You could do something similar with a little bit of lemon zest or lime zest, too. That would also pop the flavor without adding sodium to it. It's going on the plate. And because I want people to know that hot sauce is there and to be able to taste it really close to the surface as they go, I'm going to put a little bit more on almost as garnish in this point with a lot of flavor. I hope you'll give this one a try. It's a nice way to use up things that you've stored, that you did a lot of work getting ready and preserved last fall and last summer. And it's also a nice way to use new produce as it comes out of your garden. This is Potato and Corn Skillet for Oklahoma Gardening. I'm Barbara Brown. We hope you enjoyed this video. It's part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on our OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.